Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dumi Chikita and today we are going to be making a seafood boil recipe. African queen, oh, oh, oh. You need a hero, someone like me, oh. don't want to travel, oh, oh. You deserve better than what you got, eh. taking advantage. That's what your man do, move on, you can do, if you ain't ready. I wait for you, girl, long as yeah. it takes a eh. African queen, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Taking advantage. That's what your man do. Move on, you can do if you ain't ready. So, for the ingredients, we're gonna need. Crab, some prawns, corn in a cup or chop it into pieces. We've got some mussels, mine are frozen, potatoes, chopped onion, and of course our spices. Butter. We've got some chorizo. And of course, your lemons. Now, in a big pan, add some oil and add your onion. You're gonna fry your onion until it's a little brown. We're gonna add about 100 grams of butter. I have salted cultured butter here, but you can use any type of butter you want. After about three minutes, we're gonna add some garlic. We're also gonna add our spices. Because we're doing a seafood boil, we know that Cajun spice is very important, but you can use whichever spices you'd like. I used fish spice, some herbs, Cajun spice, of course, I use some chili, paprika, and of course, some six for all seasoning. Please note, you can never have too much seasoning or too much garlic with this recipe. The more flavor, the better. Make sure you stir in your seasoning properly. And now we're gonna add some stock. This is chicken stock and chicken and chili stock, but you can use whichever stock is fine because we're making a broth. Now we're gonna add about two cups of water with our onion and just keep stirring. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes or so. As soon as our broth starts boiling, we're now going to add our potatoes and corn. The reason why we're doing the broth first is that so that our corn and our potatoes can have a lot of flavor while they're cooking. Like I said, more flavor. Like I said guys, the more flavor, the better. Add about three more cups of water and make sure that your broth is nice and flavorful. Now we're gonna let our potatoes and the corn just cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's cooked. You can add more garlic and seasoning if you need to. Add some lemon juice to your stock and let it simmer. Now, for our prawns, they are not clean, so I'm going to clean them quickly. So, you're going to need a, a knife, a very sharp knife, and some water. You're going to start off by looking for this black line at the back of the prawn. You just basically stick your knife in there, you pull it up, and you pull that black line. That is basically poo, guys, so you don't need that. It is disgusting, and just make sure that your prawns are cleaned properly before you cook them. Now, for our sauce, we're going to melt another 100 grams of butter. 
if you feel like it's not going to be enough don't be shy add more butter um, in my case I'm going to be using about 300 grams of butter because I'm actually making a big portion and of course you can't have garlic butter without the actual garlic so make sure you add as much garlic as you want I basically added about four to five cloves of garlic Now we're gonna season our garlic butter. We've got some Cajun spice, some paprika, some fish spice, some herbs, and of course our six for all. Like I said in the beginning, you can use any seasoning you want. However, I think you definitely need some Cajun sauce and at least some paprika. Mix everything nicely and make sure it simmers for about 15 minutes on low heat. African Queen, oh oh oh. You need a hero, someone like me, oh. don't want to travel, oh oh. You In the meantime, add your chorizo to your boil. That's what your man do. Let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Add about 3 tablespoons of lemon juice to your garlic butter Now for our crab I got this crab at Food Lovers at about 150 a kilogram I got 2 for about 180 or so You can actually get it cleaned out at Food Lovers They give that service to you as well so you don't have to battle at home Crab is very easy to overcook, so make sure that you have your eye on the ball and place it into your broth. You only need to cook the crab for about 3 to 5 minutes, no more than that, otherwise it will be overcooked. That's what your man do. Move on, you can do if you ain't ready. However, you girl. After about a minute or so, we're gonna add our prawns. Prawns are also very easy to overcook, so be sure and be mindful to keep it in for about five minutes as well. And then we're gonna add our mussels. I like to make sure that the sauce goes in properly and makes sure that the seafood has a lot of flavor. Leave it to cook for about five minutes or so and take it out. Now plate up your butter sauce. African queen oh oh and we are done ladies and gentlemen there you have it a crab and prawn seafood boil by your fave do it together <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this recipe and please let me know if you try it comment down below on any other recipes that you'd love to see on my channel don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe. Thank you once again for tuning in. Again, my name is Dumi Chiquita and until next time, bye.